So in this video, we are going to learn in detail about Ziegler Nata catalyst and their mechanisms. So mainly it is used for polymerization, polymerization of alkenes. So this is the main purpose of this uh, particular catalyst. So the main catalyst is titanium trichloride and titanium tetrachloride and then co-catalyst is it will be triethyl aluminium. So ET means ethyl okay triethyl aluminium or we can also use diethyl aluminium so this is aluminium aluminium chloride so these both are uh, acting as co-catalysts so it will help the catalyst uh, for the rate of the reaction so we will write a simple reaction and then we will move on to the mechanism so basically these two will combine and produce a heterogeneous catalyst so what is mean by heterogeneous catalyst it will not be dissolved dissolved in the reaction mixture not soluble in reaction mixture in reaction mixture okay so it is easily removed when the final product is formed it will be easily removed the catalyst can be easily removed from the product that is, is the very much benefit for this heterogeneous catalyst in the case of homogeneous catalyst the product and the catalyst cannot be easily removed okay so if we see the simple reaction consider a ethene and then our catalyst is present so it will give something like a uh, metal will be there and then CH2 CH2 this will be the repeating unit see as you can see here then one ethyl group will be present okay so basically the metal in between the metal and in between the ethylene group our particular uh, compound will be binding inside okay that is the whole purpose it is like an insertion between metal between the metal and the ethyl group the entire compound will be binding inside the n number of compounds it will be repeating units okay consider if you are taking ch um, uh, ch2 and then uh, like ch3 is present now what will be the repeating unit so metal is present and then repeating unit will be ch2 CH, CH3, repeating unit and then ethyl group. Basically, it is like an insertion between this ethyl group and metal. You will uh, understand more when we move on to the mechanism. Okay. Then what will happen is, further we have to terminate it. Okay. We have to terminate. We have to basically remove it uh, from the metal because this is now connected to the metal. So, how we can remove it is, we can use another one monomer. If another one monomer is used, what will be the final product is CH and then CH2, CH2, N minus 1 and ethyl. So here N was present and here N minus 1 was present. So now it may look confusing, really confusing like how it is N and how uh, we got N minus 1. So later on after mechanism everything will be clear for you. Okay. So let's move on to the mechanism part. So there are two types of mechanism like two types are uh, there. The first one we are going to see is Cossey-Arman mechanism. So in this particular mechanism, this is only is supported by many scientists. Another one mechanism, we will also learn about that, that is given by Nata. But most of them supported this particular mechanism only. See, we know uh, the, what is the catalyst and what is the co-catalyst, okay. So these two will combine and produce an organometallic compound. It will look like this, okay. So basically, so all these will be chlorine, okay. All these are chlorine. And then, then one vacant side. Basically, TiCl1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is present. Okay, but it is not really TiCl5. 
this chlorine these uh, you know what is crystal lattice all these uh, may, all these complex are connected right so this chloride will be connected to another uh, ti so it will be like a overall crystal lattice it is like a repeating unit okay so basically only three chlorine is connected to one particular so for one tl uh, three chlorine will be there so this is like the arrangement okay so now what is going to happening is now we will uh, like bind aluminium triethyl aluminium right so what will happen is this aluminium this uh, c ethyl group is having two electron in this bond right so along with this two electron it will go and attack this vacant site okay now someone has to go and attack this aluminium right so this any chlorine any one chlorine will be labile and that chlorine you have to take and along with this it will go and attack this aluminium so what will be the product aluminium ethyl ethyl and then one chlorine is present and then rest will be our ti right ti is present and then here uh, all these things are chlorine and then our ethyl group is present okay so now this is the main reaction okay so this is the main thing we are going to use for everything this is on this only so now this space is vacant right from this position only we took the chlorine so this space is vacant we can take a simple alkene okay so ethene i am taking so what will happen is this particular uh, link this ethyl group along with this bond is acting as a nucleophile okay so this two electron along with this ethyl group will go and attack or uh, one carbon and then rest these two electrons will be there that along with this will go and attack our metal so basically it is attacking to our metal okay so basically the bond so this is considered this is a carbon one this is carbon two now carbon one is bound to our uh, titanium metal and carbon two is bound to ethyl group okay so titanium so here uh, there is a vacant space and chlorine because the ethyl group is leave, left okay chlorine chlorine and then chlorine now titanium is directly attached to carbon 1 and it is directly attached to ch2 and another one ethyl group is attached now okay so this is carbon 2 so now this can be a product or there is another one possibility of product that is this uh, entire group is migrating to the same position where the ethyl was initially present so ethyl was initially considered this position as 1 okay consider this position as 2 just for assumption this particular position okay this particular position is considered as 2 and this particular position is considered as 1 so initially the ethyl group was at first position now this ethyl group is vacant uh, now that position is vacant there is another one product that can be formed that is titanium in this place the ch2 ch2 and ethyl will be there and then chlorine and then chlorine chlorine then here the vacant space these two are the possible products that can be formed okay later on you will understand what is the significance what is the importance of this particular step now just uh, uh, understand that now just we can take this product okay so in the same place where the ethyl group was left I have written the same uh, in the same place it is uh, forming okay the first uh, first position is uh, there and always the second uh, position I am going to consider as vacant okay uh, so because this is also possible but for uh, now I am just going to consider the second place as vacant okay so in the vacant now again another one CH2 will go and add again this will be this entire group will be the nucleophile now right so this nucleophile will come and attack this carbon and another one will go and attack this titanium metal so again what will happen i am going to uh, leave this place as vacant okay so the rest will be formed here right so ch2 so this is the first carbon that is attached to the titanium metal and the, this bond is attached to see another ch2 now see this is very important the connectivity of carbon is very important okay see titanium has one bond so that bond is like this okay okay to with this carbon carbon 1 carbon 1 and this uh, carbon 1 is attached to carbon 2 this is called this carbon 2 is now attacking which carbon this carbon right so now this is carbon 3 this is carbon 4 
so carbon 3 carbon 4 and then it is attached to ethyl group as you can see the ch2 ch2 group is repeating itself basically even number of carbon groups will keep repeating the same step will keep repeating that is the whole polymerization process okay so already in, uh, initially we saw that uh, there will be a metal and then this ch2 ch2 will have totally a uh, various n number here how many number two numbers of uh, uh, two numbers is present and then one ethyl group is present so now this step is over like keep uh, we you have to keep on repeating this okay now we have to terminate this okay the, the only then it is uh, over right so to terminate this there are three ways three ways possible to terminate okay now the first is active hydrogen so one or group with one hydrogen uh, this is an active hydrogen so now this hydrogen here will go and attach to one ch2 here so to here totally four ch2 will be present so in that ch2 one of the ch2 will be occupied by this hydrogen so this will be the final product in this case okay so another method uh, for uh, termination is so what we can do is we can add another one monomer so this is the most probably used one okay so another one monomer is there now this um, uh, listen we can uh, write this as i'll write it separately okay metal is there ch2 ch2 and then ch2 and ch2 and ethyl group ethyl group is there now i have to terminate this so what i am going to do is i am going to add one uh, ch2 ch2 another using monomer okay so what will happen is this metal bond along with this will go and react here okay and then what will happen this bond here consider this hydrogen is like this so this bond along with this two electron will go and capture this hydrogen then this bond will be uh, empty right so this uh, now this bond is having two electron right that will go and attack here so what will be form ch2 double bond ch and then ch2 ch2 ethyl group so as you can see initially it was two number of ch2 ch2 now see only one is present right that's what i told initially it will be n and then later it will be what n minus 1 initially we saw like the same thing is happening here okay then another one way to uh, terminate the step is like internal transfer okay so consider the metal is here ch2 ch2 uh, we are writing it two times okay ch2 ch2 and then one ethyl group is there okay so now i have to do internal transfer so internal means what we have to do always take the beta hydrogen okay so here also we took the beta hydrogen see from metal this is alpha this is beta okay so this beta hydrogen this metal along with this electron so this two electron will go and attack this hydrogen okay now this two electron here will come and attack here okay so what will be the product the metal and then hydrogen and then uh, plus plus ch2 double bond ch ch2 ch2 ethyl so this is also the same product like here right so this and this all same product only but the byproduct will be different so here if you see the byproduct is mh right but here the byproduct will be what means this metal is basically reacting with the ch2 so metal ch2 and then one ch3 will be present because this ch2 is gaining this uh, hydrogen so this is the byproduct so there are three ways this way this way this way three ways to terminate a particular uh, reaction in this polymerization okay okay now let's uh, move on to little complicated structure consider ch ch and ch3 now this is uh, reacting with our titanium so consider two positions are there so here ethyl position and here that vacant position the rest will be we don't have to mind really those are all chlorines okay so what is uh, what i am going to do means here uh, take it as carbon 1 and this is a carbon 2 
always the carbon 1 will attack the titanium metal okay the carbon 2 will be attacked by the nucleophile so here what is the nucleophile so what is the nucleophile here this ethyl group along with this two bond is the nucleophile so this is going to attack the second place only okay so now the first place so this electrons this two electron along with this uh, ch2 now will attack the uh, metal so metal is uh, here right uh? so it is basically attacking the vacant site so what will happen so the same i am writing titanium titanium is present and then this particular position the titanium is directly attached to which carbon carbon number one so ch2 okay now this carbon number one is attached to what carbon number two so this carbon number two is attached to ch3 right then now the carbon number two is also attached to what ethyl group so this is how you have to write so i have written it in different portions see initially the uh, this is one means this is two okay initially the ethyl group was in uh, position one now this entire group is in position two so either this can be formed or titanium this place may be vacant and this this also can be formed okay ch3 and ethyl okay so uh, we will do another step and i will talk about uh, why we need to understand this okay so uh, again we are reacting with another ch2 ch and ch3 okay so now so who will attack the carbon one so this is carbon one this is carbon two this is carbon 1 and this is carbon 2. So now uh, titanium will be attacked by the carbon 1, right? Carbon 1. And this whole nucleophile will be attacking the carbon 2. Okay, so what will be happening? So titanium will be there. And I am going to write the all the groups here, okay? Here I am all, always going to keep it as vacant, okay? So now what will happen? Titanium has to directly attach to which carbon? Carbon 1. So CH2. And then this carbon 1 is connected to CH and CH3. Now this entire carbon 2 is connected to this uh, particular thing. So it, it will be like 3, 4 things. Okay. So CH2, CH, 3, 4, CH, CH3 and ethyl group as you can see. So here which is the repeating unit now itself you can note so this is the repeating unit. So uh, basically a metal will be there and CH2, CH, CH3 this will be the repeating unit and then ethyl group will be present. So this will keep on repeating so CH2, CH, CH3, CH2, CH, CH it will be keep on repeating. So now why I have talked about the position means. So, whenever the ethyl group, initially where the ethyl group was present, this position, uh, if, the, if these groups are keep coming in the first position means, then it will be forming isotactic polymer. So, isotactic. So, these are stereoregular uh, polymer, isotactic polymer. See, because this is a stereochemical center, see. Uh, it has four different groups attached to each other. So, it is a stereochemical. So, it will be forming isotactic. So, metal will be there. And then CH2. CH. So, it, uh, it will be CH3 will be like this. And then again one CH2 and then CH. And again this will be like this. So, isotactic means like this only. Okay. CH2. CH. So, same side. Okay. I have written above. Same side. It is in same side. So, in case of, in case, if in case initially uh, this, uh, this repeating, that is the nucleophilic group is in this uh, one position and then again shifting in two position. If it is keep shifting means then we will get what? Uh, syndiotactic, diotactic polymer. So, I hope you understand what I am trying to tell. So, what I am telling is, 
so initially a titanium is there and a vacant is there so if every time so we are adding one monomer each time right so each time whenever we are adding monomer so if it is one if it is two each time it is going into second position means we are going to get isotactic polymer if in case one time uh, the monomer is going into second position and another time the monomer is going into first position similarly the because the vacant side is shifting between one and two then uh, it will be syndiotactic okay monomer and then ch2 ch so it is above and now ch2 ch next time it will be below so it will be like a um, like opposite opposite ch2 now it will again be above so this is syndiotactic okay next one is a tactic polymer so a tactic polymer it is very very random okay one time it will be above next time it will be below 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 then maybe it will be it is like a random ways this ch3 will be uh, there so basically this uh, vacant say site is uh, shifting very randomly okay i hope you understood this concept okay next let's move on to bimetallic the next meta mechanism is bimetallic mechanism by nata so initially now we saw uh, that is uh, like one metallic uh, uh, like one metallic uh, uh, mechanism because only one metal was used right titanium but in this case two metals also will be used in the mechanism okay so we know that aluminium is present triethyl aluminium is present and then titanium trichloride is present okay trichloride is present it will be present like this okay it is uh, this form of structure is because it is bimetallic both metals are going to involve in the mechanism okay so now we are going to react our alkene ch2 double bond ch and then ch3 okay consider this is one carbon number one and carbon number two always this carbon number one along with this electron will go and attack this metal okay so once it is attacking a titanium can have only a certain number of bonds so three bonds so this is going to go here okay here uh, the this bond is going to go here okay so uh, that is totally four bonds was there now since we are adding one alkene uh, this bond is going back to this two electrons is going back to ethyl group okay so it will look like this okay aluminium and then ethyl uh, ethyl group two ethyl groups are here and then this ethyl group has gained one electron so it will be minus and then one chlorine is here and titanium chlorine chlorine now titanium is uh, attached we can put it upside okay now this titanium is attached to one ch2 this is carbon number one and another ch2 this is carbon number uh, two and then it is bonded to ch3 okay so now this is uh, this is ch okay now this will having a positive sign so this carbon 2 is going to get a positive sign why because this two electron it has given away it's uh, so carbon usually has like three or four electrons so now this carbon is having only uh, three electrons so now it is deficient so it is uh, positive okay so this plus and this minus will react okay and then this two electrons from here there will be two electrons here these two electrons will go and attack this uh, ch2 okay that is the next step okay this minus and plus will bind and then this uh, aluminium is directly going to attack this ch2 so basically aluminium is there ethyl group is there and this aluminium is directly now attacking which one ch2 now ch2 is bound to chlorine we know that okay now this ch2 is bound to which one this ch and this ch is bound to ch3 and this uh, plus is bounding to minus ethyl group so this is uh, so now as you can see what is the unit that is formed ch2 ch ch3 so this will be keep repeating let's see another one also so ch2 double bond ch ch3 okay so now what we have to do so carbon 1 carbon 2 
so the metal along with this electron is going and attacking here so this will go in here so it will be minus so aluminium so ch2 since it is gaining electron it is minus so the rest will be as it is ch3 and one ethyl group and then here chlorine and then titanium chlorine uh, and then here the, tita the titanium is bound to ch2 and that ch2 is bound to a carbon 2 ch and then ch3 so now this is positive sign so plus and minus will react and then what will happen is uh, this uh, bond this aluminium bond this along with this two electron is going to attack our ch2 so aluminium will be there directly attached to our ch2 and titanium and then so this ch2 now we have to be very careful so now this ch2 i have already written so this ch2 is attached to what another ch and one ch3 so now this ch2 ch is attached to what this carbon right ch2 ch2 ch ch3 and then ethyl group as you can see it has started repeating see this is uh, one group this is one group ch2 ch ch3 and this is second group ch2 ch ch3 now two ch2 ch ch3 is added between this metal and this ethyl group okay so let's move on to the uses so it is mainly used to produce cis buta diene polymer cis buta diene polymer okay so it is nothing but uh, it is a natural polymer but you can make this uh, using this natural rubber polymer okay so very useful uh, application and then poly isoprene so this is like a synthetic rubber uh, so this is also formed uh, using this particular thing then we can form alde alcohol forms alcohol from this we can form what alcohol how we are going to see uh, see uh, this is a metal and consider ch2 ch2 and uh, or uh, whatever ch2 ch2 how many number of times is present and then ethyl group will be present now we have to oxidize using oxygen what will be formed is oxygen will be a uh, bit coming between here okay then ch2 ch2 and the rest will be there and then next what you have to do you have to add h2o h2so4 then what it uh, you will get is this is a minus electronegative group and this is plus so this minus oxygen will gain one hydrogen from this particular uh, h plus h plus will be gained so alcohol you will get this is like a termination step only that is uh, leading to alcohol okay then the condition for this overall ziegler natter catalyst uh, at what temperature it will be happening is it is around 93 degrees celsius and the pressure is around 100 atmospheric pressure okay so it is also uh, like uh, we saw about isotactic isotactic means what uh, all this uh, ch3 is in the same side okay so this isotactic uh, thing is very highly crystalline highly so it is like linearly arranged very good okay highly crystalline highly crystalline and uh, so it is having high density okay very high density and they are super strong okay they are very strong so they are used in pipes filaments in pipes and all they are using these uh, things okay okay uh, thank you thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video uh, if you like this video like share and subscribe thank you